so in the previous lectures we have so lectures we have completed with our this class two classes two main classes so that's a big achievement so after this there is a left a small improvement or a small code in this main function is to implement basically just calling this bird and just working with this events and just working with our score of the game similarly we'll just do in couple of lectures so we'll just work with this main function now so go to this main function now and after this images which will just load our image what are you gonna do next is we'll just create the instances now that is the bird instances so this bird instances if you see and it should have a constructor here or an initializer in this bird which will take our self obviously the self should not be initialized we should have initialized x that is the exposition for board y and millisecond to climb and images so let's keep that now here in this while calling the while creating the instances of the board so you can see here it is just giving a suggestion to post something that is x and y and millisecond to climb and images so let's put that so firstly let me say the x would be 50 and y would be integer win of height that is height of window and let me just divide it by 2 and just subtract bird height here that is the bird dot height and it should be bird dot this height and just divide it by 2 so this would be the default position for the board and just you have passed in this tuple so after this what we're gonna do is just pass a 2 here so 2 is going to be something that is you can see here 2 is a millisecond to climb so 2 is a millisecond to climb now just pass images so what the images should be given here in the bird is just create a tuple first just create the tuple and just give this images and because we have load images here so and this images is basically a queue if you see here it should be dq basically so inside this list or a queue we'll just pass first that is a bird wings up we'll say bird wings up so it should be bird and wing up first image and similarly after that just give a comma here for the second image and should be bird wing down bird wings and down so if you see here it's it is not this underscore bird underscore wings up because in this load image we have here that is the key so we are working with the key here so that means this should be the key in order to get these images basically so after that what we're gonna do is we have called now our bird instances so this bird is instances now we'll just create a dq here that is a pipe dq and this dq is same as the q or a stack you can say it is a generalized stack so after that we'll just initialize a frame clock so frame clock should be O here so this will increase by a unit uh, if the game is not paused basically so this is the unit increment this clock will have the in unit increment if we don't have a pause in the game so that means we'll just say done equal to paused equal to false here and now we'll work with the main loop of our game that is while not done so while not done what should be so firstly we'll just stick with this clock dot tick and that would be fps and after this what are we gonna do now after this tick of a clock we'll handle the event so handle the user event so what are we gonna have the event so let's define that for e in pygame dot event dot get 
you know how to get the event from the user from this function pygame.event.get and if you get a confusion in this statement i highly suggest you go back to the section where i created or where i explain all about this pygame module so go back there and i'm sure you will understand what this really means so i'll say if e dot type that is the type of this event is quit what if this is quit so basically in the console you have the cross button so what if you just press that cross button or e dot will just maintain here as a we'll just give a bracket we'll just have your logical statement between the two type of the event that will be key up first it is a key up and similarly e dot e dot type is equal equal key escape that is let me give it is a key first and it should be escape and it if it is escape what you're gonna do is so it is not defined key escape is not resolved because it should be let me see it is key escape it should be k escape only k not key so it should be k escape and if it is this then just give here done should be true that means you have to just exit out of this loop and exit out of this game so for that we'll just break out of this loop and what if it is not true what if the event is another event that is e dot type just check the type of the event if it is key up so it is also not giving us any suggestion and that would be like if and if it is key up and e dot key in so this is basically in is basically giving you inside this any value if it is inside this any value that is k dot comma pause let me say pause and comma k comma p so you can hit the p for the pause so for that case what we're gonna do is pause is equal to not a paused it should be not a paused so that means the pause will be becomes true now so it was false basically now it will become true and the game will be paused so what will have elif just check again for the elif that is e dot type is again equal to mouse button up or let me check again e dot type equal equal key up so this is basically for the movement of our bird uh, key up and similarly I'll say e dot type in in and in will be something like we have the bunch of key here so that can be key up and similarly key return and let me say key return here and similarly key space you can use an, any of this and in this what you're gonna have is we'll have this bird dot millisecond that is dot dot millisecond to climb will be equal to bird dot obviously a climb duration so this is the duration will be assigned to the millisecond to the climb now what we're gonna do next we'll check outside this event handling now if the game is paused or not that is if it is paused what you're gonna do is just continue don't draw basically this is to say don't draw anything if it is paused so now check for the collision check for collisions and that is to check for first let me say the pipe let me just give a pipe collision variable to check for the collision and it will be any that means any of this event happens so collides with so we have this function basically collide with in this uh, pipe appear and just give here a bird let me say just bird here and collide with bird for 
and you could end wonder so what is here a p so p is the another variable which will be loop in pipes it will loop in our pipes it is it should be pipe now you can see it it is pipes let me say pipes and just put here a pipes so this p will loop in this pipe and just call this collide with that is to check for the collision so we have now pipe collision so what are you gonna do with this pipe collision now we'll just check if pipe collision that is pipe collision if it is true basically just it will just any means it will just return us something that is true or false and if i say zero is greater than or equal to but dot y position or bird dot y position is greater than or equal to a win of height minus bird of height so this should be bird dot height so what we're gonna do here is it will check if it is collision basically with this board and it will check for this variable in the pipes and if it is hitting the boundary this is to check if it hits the boundary then there is a collision so that means uh, there is a collision so we'll set done equal to true that means just get out from the loop and just return so what if there is no collision that means i'll just say for x in o comma so this x is a random variable here and it will just go from win width that's the window width divided by 2 so it will just go from 0 to win width divided by 2 so what we'll do here is we'll just blit now surface display surface is our surface we'll just blit that dot blit and we'll blit something with images obviously we'll be with images and that will be background and background and this what this background is basically we have here from this load images you can see in this load images we get here as a background as this background dot png so this will be loaded in this basically our display surface in our display surface so where to blit this so just blit it to somewhere x comma zero so y will be zero constantly and you just bleed it to x that is zero ranging from zero to minimum width divided by two that is half of the screen now what we're gonna do is we'll just update now bird dot update here and we'll just display dot surface dot bleed and just bleed now bird image bird dot image that is every image and bird dot rect which will be the rectangle created and bird dot rect and after that what we're gonna do is pygame so i have told you in the lecture of this pygame that the flip and update is same so we'll use just a flip here so we'll use the flip and we'll say frame dot clock now the clock should be increment with one every time so this is not a frame should be frame clock not only a frame it should be frame clock increment with one every time now after this update now we'll just uh, basically in here after this main we'll just have something that is we'll just quit now from the pygame that is pygame.quit because we have initialized inside this main now we have quit from this pygame so now what we're gonna do is we have the very traditional convention to call this function that is the name equal equal main so if it is equal equal main that means it the function inside here will be automatically called so we don't have to manually call here so that means just call this main function so everything here will be started from this main function so this main function has all of the code to work with so in the next lecture 
what is left here basically before take talking about the next lecture what is left here is to add the pipes and a score so in the next lecture we'll just implement that pipe and see how the game really works so see you in the next